Okay. All right. Once upon a time. Yeah, no kidding. I feel like, yeah. Okay, that's it. We are out of here. What time is it? Nine o'clock? We crushed that. Woo! Crushed it. Charlie's going potty. We're level. Ready to go to sleep. Start a new day. First time looked in your eyes. Is a paradigm. Okay. Now the paradigm was the first model that Lions built. Okay. And this is the 310 RL, which is 3410. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, cool! Here we go. <laughs> 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 I love that. Okay, I'm turning on my camera okay. because we are getting close to Missy and Bunny's house. Trish, tell if, in case in case someone doesn't know, tell everyone who Missy and Buddy are. They were the previous owners of the bird. If you didn't yes. see the bird, that's season ten motorized. <laughs> we went down Route sixty six. It was a blast. We are uh, now headed to where? <laughs> I can never remember the name. Um, Charleston, Charleston. South Carolina. I want to say Charlotte. I want to say Char Charleston, South Carolina, for a wedding. Because our designer is getting married, and we're gonna go to his wedding. Married. Marriage is what brings us together today. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go spend the night here at Missy and Bunny's house. And then Dick and Jean, if you remember them from season 10, Dick had the big train set in his house. Yes. Well, uh, at the time, he was waiting on his travel trailer. Things change quick over there because <laughs> I saw a picture of the two sites they have. Yeah. And it's now a fifth wheel alliance. Yes. They also had two little dogs that look just like Charlie. Oh, that's right. And this time we have a game plan. We're like, they're not going in the water. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a daydream. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. More horn, Missy. Oh, Bunny says, Sorry. more horn. You know what? That puts music to your ears. I know. I don't need any more encouragement, really. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. More <laughs> horn. Yeah, 70. I love it. Wow. Look and at the site you have over it. here. You got your own little campground. Yeah, we've been waiting since four, right there, sitting, waiting for you. <laughs> what should we do? So when we pull in, we go in here. And okay. We whip it around. Hello. Hello. Okay, cool. Are you going to go over there? Yeah, I'll go over there and I'll back it in. I'm going to be on your passenger side too, okay? Okay. Because I think you can see your driver's side. Yeah. You're lined up great. Now I'll go up in there. There we go. Okay, now tell me uh, passenger or driver. Okay, more on your driver's side now. Yeah, wow, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna stop. We're good? Yeah, and you, you know, keep your thumb out of there. You always go. Yeah. All right. What are you doing, Charlie? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that is happy. It's kind of happy to me. Hey, Trish, you wanted a tour of the Alliance? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Let's do it. Here. Change out the lights because I didn't think we care for the, yeah. for the, for the factory lights. Wait, how do you change them out? Like, are there options? Or you no, just you provided like, no, them? No, no, like, or these on Amazon. Oh, you put them in yourself. Oh, I, I see. Put them, put them in myself. And then we got 12 volt bulbs. Voila. This is beautiful. There's so much space. Oh, yeah. You've got to love this. Well, you said he got it for the dogs. <laughs> they said there were four months that in the. That is classic. What's the story with the dogs? Huh? What's the story with the dogs? 
You said you were four months with the trailer. Oh the... well, yeah, we couldn't fit the dogs in the other trailer. Yeah, they, they, they were they were they were way just too way way too too. Uh, they wanted to get in bed with us, whatever. <laughs> so so we did this. I love the bathroom with this uh, bench in there. Hey, this is gorgeous. It they really made it feel like you're right at home. Yeah. I mean, this doesn't feel RV That's at all. Noise. No. That is and so cool. So we, this is Camper's World. That's fantastic. Oh, I love how you've done that. You yeah. Know, and. Jean's not happy with up there. She says, she says, you're going to have to get it down for me. I said, no, job security. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So instead I well, found a tall ladder. Oh, look. <clears throat> yeah, this is gorgeous. It's and, open, and high, bright. And let me show right. you what, what, oh. oh, my word. Oh, wow. Wow. And so that's the dog's beds. That's a full set of bedding. Yeah. For, for, for this, which, you know, folds out. Yeah. Wow. This is great. We hear all the time, you know, people are going to have either grandkids or friends visit them, yeah. and so they buy a different floor plan because they're concerned they won't have the space. Yeah. But this, you still have your proper yeah. living space and you have storage. Junior, here Junior. we go. Now, I, our bikes are in here, so. Oh, that's so cool. We have two electric bikes and they break in half. This, so. Okay, I need to get out of the way so Mark can come in. Oh, should I be taking my shoes off? No, Don't it's Junior. It's Junior. <laughs> it's Junior. It's fine. That is huge. Look, your bathroom? Yeah. Look at the size of it. It's, it's huge. I mean, look. It's and okay, what is this RV? What's the size, length, shape? 2150 RB, rear it, bath. Grand design, imagine. Mm -hmm. Look at all this space. I yeah. know. This is incredible. Here, turn on. You got a light oh, in there? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let me turn on a light. Oh, there we you. go. Oh, there this we go. This is incredible. You have a bathroom with a, a window. Well, it's because this um, this particular Imagine is also a bunkhouse. You can get in a bunkhouse, right? You can. And yes. so instead of the bunkhouse, look at they got this huge, huge bathroom. Bath. Yeah. It's great. This, this is, is awesome. Nice. What do you have here? So oh, much. oh, homemade. What is it? Oh, so you can put your <laughs> drinks. Seem a little special. So that when what is you're this? Sitting oh, having oh, coffee. It's just a little, so I can put my coffee on the. Yes. When yes. you're sitting having coffee, you have to have a place to put it. Boom. Boom. Done. Miss even has this. the back support. I like that, Missy. <laughs> so that it doesn't fall yeah, forward. Doesn't fall yeah, over. It works. Did yeah. you make you make anything else? Any other custom <laughs> things? No, really. I, people want to know. That, my talent has uh, tapped out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this summer's gonna hold? Oh gosh, lots of joy. <laughs> lots of joy, I love it, I love it. Did you decide you that you're gonna stay in Maine for all that time? No. No. Hey, is this this dimmer? This is a simple thing, right? Yeah, Missy put that in. It's a YouTube fix. A YouTube so you fix? you were fitting when you said you were out of this. Yeah, you've got Look more, you got oh, more. Right. You added the dimmer, you right. added the because coffee holders. Well, I mean, right. Come on, one right. more mod. Give, 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 us, give us one more mod. That was it. That was <laughs> <laughs> She's oh, mute. I have one more. Okay. Yeah. Up on the roof. Yeah. I put boxes on my skylights because we have a lot of trees. And so when the trees fall down or the limbs fall down, they don't go they through my skylight. skylight. Oh, okay. Awesome. So I've got wooden boxes on top of them. Because we had one break that was in the smart. Box, And we had to oh, order really? a new one and oh. fix it. And so. Yeah. I feel like we just woke up in a state park. I know. Do you hear these birds? It's beautiful. I hope you can catch a woodpecker on um, film. Yes. Yes. I don't know when this video is coming out in relation to Summer to Remember, but check out my new shirt here. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. Um, some new colors too. So we did the whole unveiling because we had the samples sent here to Missy and Bunny's house. So we were with them in the airstream and we looked through some of the, uh, some of the colors. Yes. Lots of fun. Yeah. I'll just sleep. Wonderful, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. The rain was kind of fun. I hope we didn't wake you up with the text message because we had a tornado warning till one o'clock. Oh. Oh. Didn't 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 get that message. <laughs> yeah. I would have woken up in Kansas. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing up there, Charlie boy? What are you doing? What are you doing what up there, Charlie? Doing? Hi, Charlie. Hi, oh, Charlie. Oh, you Charlie. Box yeah. Car Box car Bettys. Yeah. I'm just trying. There's no place to park there. Though. No. No, you don't. Know. <laughs> 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 I love that horn. Ah. Um, Bunny says, "Lay on that horn." <laughs> I'm 
very impressed. Aren't you though? I am so impressed. You know what Just Mark do what is doing? I can. He's pulled over, he's waiting to make a U-turn so we can go back to a little farmer stand. Yep. Wow. Uh, this is one of the things that we do like about being towable. Not that you can't make a U-turn in a Class A with a towable towing a vehicle, but it can be tricky sometimes because you don't know if you're gonna get stuck in a situation where you have to detach. And the fact that I can back up means that we wait, can do wait, stuff like wait, this. There we go. No, I'm, 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 I'm just gonna wait till I got no worries. Or so we were just talking about what we all wanted. <laughs> she was, she was oh, wow. Can you turn the light? I mean, this would be like your perfect place to get a little gift for someone. Mm -hmm. It smells so good in here. I <laughs> get in these places, I'm like, stay calm. <laughs> Do not buy everything you see. Yeah. You want to make a decaf? No, too late. I already paid for it. Here's your money back. <laughs> <laughs> I loved seeing that in there. So. And then I got a few little props. Oh, some peach salsa. Okay. Some, um, I don't even know. Where are we? We are outside of Hilton Head on the 17, headed to Charleston. This is the Carolina Cider Company. I'm not saying this for the community, I'm saying this for us. Mm-hmm. Because we're the guilty party here. Not having to travel very far in a day mm -hmm. lends itself to, hey, let's go over there, let's have Let's go check that out, or let's have lunch here, and it does make for a far more enjoyable drive day. Well, that's what Carrie, our chef at Red Tech, said. Mm -hmm. He said, my parents traveled, I can't even remember, for many, many years in an RV, and they would never go more than 300 miles because they were afraid they'd miss something. We're literally in someone's backyard. There's roosters behind us. There's a alert dog. He's mm -hmm. there just to alert. Mm -hmm. And um, the homeowner is not home right now, but it's a Scott. beautiful property. Awesome. But yes, oh my goodness. It's beautiful, yeah. Isn't it great? I, yeah, I, I'll take two. What's going on over here? Hey, alligator eyes. Hey, alligator eyes. Do you want to come out and play? Oh, up, uh, We just love it when we can open up that front window up there and that breeze just comes straight through the whole RV and the air conditioning doesn't need to run and you don't need to pull down the blinds to change. Until you only have to experience this one or two times and then you're like, all right, I'm in. I'm in on dry camping. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh. <laughs> uh, RVing and weddings. I don't know. It's a little dicey. So anyway, but we're headed down to Charleston. We're a little late. <laughs> and we need to go. All right. Here we go. Well, tonight, tell everyone what's going on. Tonight's the what? Tonight's like the pre-wedding warm-up. Everybody gets like a meet and greet. So we're hanging out at a bar. I guess it's like the oldest pub oh, in really? Charleston or something. Oh, very cool. Yeah. And so we're all going to hang out and like celebrate John and Kelly. And then we're yeah. all going to get to know each other a little bit so that tomorrow when the wedding happens, we won't all be strangers. What you doing, Charlie? Charlie's looking at those chickens. Charlie really wants those chickens. Okay, uh, there's a tractor supply right down the road. There's a couple things I want to get. Uh, I need propane, and there's something I wanted to mention about this propane. Uh, when we were at that Ret Tech barbecue event, I mentioned that I keep one side off and one side on. That way, when we run out of propane, I can make the switch, and then it's kind of a mental cue that I need propane. 
turns out I had full propane. Oh, finding that out was so painful because we were taking cold showers because we didn't pass any tractor supplies or U-Hauls and or propane stops. Anyway, when I, what I found out and we're just out of the rhythm of this rig and we're getting more and more in the rhythm every day, what I ended up doing is, is just unscrewing it from the propane tank and then screwing it back on and then the regulator went from red to green. So just keep that in mind. If, if you have a full tank and it's not reading full, you just gotta you know, re reset it, reboot it. But um, one of the things I was talking about, Scott, who's the uh, Harvest host here, no, Boondockers, welcome, sorry. He, uh, he spoke really highly of these uh, little devices that you put on the bottom of the propane tank. And basically through like sonar, it tells you exactly how far they are and, and uh, right there on your phone. So he says like they're 60 bucks, they go to the bottom. He gave me some other little tips. So I would definitely be ordering that. Uh, I will tell you, Tractor Supply is my number one spot for getting propane. I think it's the easiest and the cheapest. And if you're pulling an RV, oftentimes Tractor Supply will have RV, long RV sites, which is kind of convenient. So that's where I like, that's my go-to for propane. Uh, and then if there's no Tractor Supply around, one app you might want to uh, consider looking at is Campendium. Uh, all stays also maybe even RV Life, but I know for sure Campendium has propane locations. Hey Trish, come out here, I wanna show you this. Ah. Ah. You in here? Hi. Can we get me a little knife? Sure. Hey, there's no chasing chickens. There's no chasing chickens. I know what you want to do, you chicken chaser. Um, I was thinking that, you know, because this is a hot outlet with our inverter, and I don't think this probably draws very much. Wow. How's that? It's... Can you feel it? I'll turn it down lower. Okay, so my thinking was this. Three part. Quiet. One is... I thought this would be nice if we were having a campfire that you could kind of keep the smoke away from somebody's face. Two, have something to keep the mosquitoes and the bugs when the sun goes down. And then three, if we're in a situation where we need some ventilation inside the airstream, uh, that, that we could, like when it gets on those shoulder seasons, that, that this would be a good option. So, so there we go. And it's pretty small. It was $49 at Tractor Supply. Quiet. It's quiet and uh, hopefully I can find a spot in the truck to store it so it doesn't break. That's my biggest concern is it breaking. This time, I'm not even gonna connect it. I'm gonna leave it disconnected like this. That way there's no confusion as to if... Which one? Which, like I know this is full because I haven't even connected it. So when we run out of propane, I will, I will turn that off and connect this one. And that way there's no air bubbles or anything. Wait, did I do this right? This goes first. Can you help me lift it? Yeah. Pretty excited to put the um, that propane gadget on. Oh yeah. We'll get that on order and we get we get an address. Oh, we have an address. We're headed up to Kitty Hawk. Our plans changed. We'll tell you more about that. Weather related. I got a salad in here for you. Really? What kind of salad? Where are you? Where are you? Hi. You right here? Yeah. Hey, let's see how many watts this fan is taking. Ooh, what'd you make? Don't let him out, the chicken chaser. <laughs> he says, I'm not a chicken chaser. Yes. I'm not a chicken, I'm not, be, be fine. He's like the little wolf. The chickens just love me. The Grandmother, love me. you're, you are so furry. What kind of salad is that? I don't know, it's really good though. Looks good. It. Come and have some. Okay, we got our fan running. I can feel it right now. Oh, really? We, and we have hot water, because I have new propane. Mm. And I got a new hitch pin. Oh, nice! From the for the hitch with a big red handle. Fantastic. Things are. Uh, I, I like being up. on a farm. Productivity increases by thirty eight percent just when camping on a farm. Hey, you know what I'd like? <laughs> we need some chickens. Is um, we need some chickens. Okay, we do the chicken thing we do. <laughs> Absolutely. When nice. I when I walk through this farm oh and God. I look around, this is this is what I'm thinking. <laughs> wow! All I can say is wow! What do you want? This! This! I want this! Oh, this is what I want. <laughs> Went to the wedding yesterday. John's wedding. John and Kelly's wedding. It was a lot of fun. 
How many dresses do you have in there? <laughs> I think we've reached. <laughs> I think we've reached. It. I bet not. I'll bet there's more. Actually, there's one more for Carson's graduation thing. Okay. Um. So anyway, because this year, <laughs> this little silver bullet is taking us around to do family fun events. Yes. Yeah. So yes. anyway, we're going to a wedding tonight. It was actually the first funny wedding I've I've ever been to. Did you say it's a funny wedding? So everyone knows I don't like a lot of attention. And I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> and I don't like to talk about myself. <laughs> there was a lot of laughs. There were a lot of great people there. All of a sudden we started yeah. like singing songs. Yeah, together. it was it was neat. And uh, it was kind of funny, you know, we're out here in Charleston, but John and Kelly are from Arizona, so everybody there was from Arizona, so it was kind of fun to catch up with everyone. Yeah, be around a bunch of Phoenicians. So, it was great. Alright, so you're gonna I, I think um, I need to get I'm a jacket. Considering my outfit, <laughs> oh. actually. I'm gonna go grab how could how much more reconsidering can you do? I'm I'm freezing. <laughs> anyway, let's go to Charleston. I mean, it's just my chimney toe. But you gotta, you gotta try to chop. <laughs> Big rigs. <laughs> Big rigs only. Big rigs. Uh, no, something like somebody else is off the bench. Was our man. Oh, So this South Carolina palm is phenomenal. When a hurricane comes in and the water drenches it, it just leans to the side and then as it dries, it stands up straight. It can stand the test of time. But the reason that it's earned its place on the flag is because it defended this beautiful city from attack. They actually made a wall from palms and sandbag and palm and they could not break through it. So it gave them the time and the resources to go and build an even stronger wall. But this beautiful palm saved many lives and protected a beautiful city. We learned yesterday on our walking tour that all the cobblestone you see actually came from English rivers. They brought it over in ships. They used it as ballast, you know, to weight the ship. Mm -hmm. And then they brought it here and they started making the streets. But before they could do that, they had to fill in and make um, the water areas filled in with the cobblestone and crushed oysters and all kinds of things. So everything that you see down these streets has actually been shipped over. It wasn't indigenous. Somebody over here had very high retention levels on your walking tour. <laughs> I'm you telling you. One. You should book one. Yeah, you should book yeah. some sort of tour. Right? Uh, yeah, we've decided it should be a food tour. <laughs> I heard from um, people that went to the wedding that the food tour was pretty good. They said it was really pricey. Most food tours are because you get you go to so many different restaurants yes. and, and you kind of dabble around. But um, I think a food tour is probably one of our favorites because you get a little bit of that history and then you go from restaurant to restaurant. Yes. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna hit Rainbow Row next. Okay. Here we go. Going straight. So, yesterday Caleb's comment about like this is a woman's dream vacation. <laughs> if you actually pay attention, my eyes are watering because it's so cold outside. But it's just groups of women. It Down is. The street over there, over here, you see. Over there. Everyone's getting. Everyone's getting married. There's everyone's bridal showers. Bridal showers. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. just pull forward by the tree line okay and then I'm gonna back out by the oh can you grab my boards sure okay can you grab my board? yep wait, wait okay <laughs> you gotta love that horn. That is the that is the ultimate send off. That is your best asset. Thanks there. again. 
You know, it's hard to say what your best Boondockers welcome experience is because so many of them are so great. Yes. But this, if I'm going to arbitrarily add locations to a top five list. A fictional list. A fictional top five list <laughs> where I could add as many items as I want. This is in the top five. This is it. This is it. This was fun. This was yes. Fun. Well, thank you so much. So thanks, Scott and Jody, for all the hospitality. Yes. And Amanda, show everyone your, the mug you got. Oh, we'll have to clip to that. I will overlay a photo of a very funny mug. Hilarious. With a cork lid. Yes. You know, that's just one of those things that you have during your travels and you always know where you got it. Exactly. That's why I think it's fun to pick up things like that along the way. Mm -hmm. The universe draws me Horizon keeps on Chicken. Oh, 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 hold on, chicken chaser. Hold on, chicken chaser. Get him. Oh, what did you think? Well, we went on a walking tour. We went on a walking tour. Yes. Um, I definitely think if you are going on a tour, uh, food should be involved. I, oh. I think food should be involved. Okay, okay. So we went on a walking tour. Mm -hmm. Caleb is suggesting that he would like some food, so maybe a food tour mm -hmm. would have mm -hmm. been better because really what you want to do when you're down here is take pictures because everything is adorable. Mm -hmm. Caleb said it best earlier. He said, this is a woman's dream and a man's chore. Charlie, what happened here? Did you think, Charlie? Charlie, look at what your dog did. My dog, he must have done something Wrong. He killed his dog. He killed his dog. Charlie, he took the squeaker out. He took the whole thing out. Last call for Summer to Remember. If you've already snatched yours up, Mark and I want to give you a personal thank you. And if you've been thinking about it, now's the time because they're going to print and getting delivered ASAP. Garden light, northern star, tethered hope, pulse my heart.